play because he's physical enough to play that position as well as uh, athletic enough and fast enough to cover in man and do so many different things. So it just makes our defense, you know, more dynamic overall. You have to take on a tight end or a pulling guard or something, though. Is yeah. he big enough to do that? Oh, he's tough enough. I mean, he's uh, he's 205 pounds, 210 pounds, and uh, and definitely tough enough. And that was part of my input. You know, when coach came in, I said the kid is is he, he's extremely physical. He's he's tough. He's hard nosed, and uh, and I have no qualms, and don't don't think he'll have any negatives in, in being able to do that. So uh, so we feel we feel good about it. And then in the spring, he just proved us all right. You know, where he came out and was able to do it and hold his own and do it well. From what you saw at Bush in the spring, how confident are you in improving this year? Oh, I mean, extremely confident. You know, he was uh, he had a tremendous spring and, uh, you know, came in as projected as a freshman, kind of wide-eyed and, uh, you know, in the three or four first practices was kind of feeling his way out. And then, you know, from then on, uh, we have him graded where he got better every single practice and peaked at the end and uh, put on some good weight, got faster this summer. So, you know, he's, he's fully expected to contribute. What are the weight room reports on your guys? You're pretty pleased with how they came back. Oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Uh, you know, our guys, are, you know, in a linebacker in particular, they're hungry. You know, they're hungry. Everyone's hearing about the D line and, and the DBs returning and everything. So, you know, we got a group that's that's out to to hold their own uh, with those other guys, and uh, they had a heck of a summer. You know, we had some guys who we wanted to cut down, and uh, they not only cut down, they got stronger. You know, we had some guys who wanted to bulk up, and uh, they, they they bulked up and got faster. So, it's it's really good. We're it's really positive. For who were some of the guys that you wanted to get down a little bit? Uh, Mike McCray was yep. one. We told him we wanted uh, we wanted to cut him a little bit, you know, um, get him get him leaner and, and quicker and faster. And he did all that. He had a heck of a summer, um, you know. So that that's the one in particular. You talk about McCray with just the increased role. Like, so just to take this yeah, yeah. Way. I mean, he's uh, you know Mike's had, you know came in and uh, had a huge upside when he when he got here um, from what I heard, and then you know then he, he went through some injury stuff. Uh, you know, and uh, and had some tough times, but it, it, I, I feel like, and we tell him all the time, it just got him. It made him better. You know, it, it, his work and his, his being able to be around a team and get hungrier, and, and now his, it's his time. You know, he's got to embrace it and uh, and grasp it, and then we expect big, huge things out of him. Did you see Ben becoming more of a vocal leader in the spring? Absolutely. You know, and then Ben was was kind of overshadowed by those other three last year, being that they played so much, but he. Uh, you know, he, he, he took his own. As soon as they're gone and he came over and came in in the spring, he, he was the guy, you know, and everyone knows him. You know, all the linebackers, all everyone on the defense knows that he's he's the leader there and uh, he's the vocal guy and he did a heck of a job. Does your group have that proverbial chip on their shoulder thing? Because everybody's not, I mean, really people aren't talking much about linebackers. Yeah, no, I think, uh, yeah, and, and you know, Coach, Coach Brown kind of has that, you know, that kind of persona. So they're going to take after him and how he coaches, and that's aggressive, hard nose, you know. And, and, and I feel like that too because I'm coming in as a, as a first year guy, and you know I'm going to motivate them that way. And, uh, and and I think so. Yeah, I think they will, and it'll be fun. We'll have fun with it too. What's it like uh, coaching with Dan Brown? Oh, incredible. I mean. I said this uh, to, to someone else. I learned something new every day from Coach Brown and Coach Harbaugh. So, like, in my, for my career, it's like I learned two new things every single day from those two. They're veterans. I mean, and Coach Brown is just phenomenal. I mean, his defense is like his defense. You know, it's like it's it's 30 years of uh, of coming up with the best way to do things and. You know, it's 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 awesome for me. He's, he's a great guy. Um, he's a great, great football coach. Uh, he's a great leader of men. You know, he knows how to handle situations and everything like that. So, you know, it's 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 really enjoyable, and we've gotten really close over the last six months or so. You won't be coaching Rashawn, but have you helped him make the transition since he arrived? Um, yeah, I mean, we have so much great support around that, you know, everyone kind of helps make the transition. But, you know, me and Rashawn are obviously going to have a different relationship than anyone else here because I, I've known him for a long time. I know his family and I'm really close to him. So, you know, yeah, I mean, he'll come to me over certain with certain things and questions and things like that. And um, But he's, he's transitioned. He's ready to rock. He had a great summer and, you know, feels really good. Are you pretty proud of... I'm sorry, Angelique. Are you pretty proud of your role in this New Jersey pipeline? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's like 
it's like anything else, right? I mean, the, the, we decide who, what guys are guys that fit into the Michigan mold, and and we go after and, and get them. And uh, you know, New Jersey to me is obviously in my heart. I, I was born and raised there. I think it's phenomenal football, and uh, you know, to be able to get these guys and, and get them to Michigan, of, co of course, I'm proud of it. But it's just like I'm proud of any guy I recruit. You know, it's yep. it's you know when we when we get we get the kids that we want um, to the university. It's it's overall it's great. Harbaugh talked in Chicago about Peppers, you know, the multi-dimension. Are you willing to share him? I mean, you're coaching him now, right? Sure. Right? I mean, it's whatever's best for the team. You know, it's uh, of course, yeah. We're, we're, I'm willing to share him. It's not, I mean, if they say that they want him for another position, first of all, we're sharing him on special teams because I'm doing the special teams too. So <laughs> he's shared right off the bat. But, um, but then, uh, if offense comes in and said they need him for a day or want him for a role, yeah, of course. You know, everyone. What, will, everyone is he a linebacker? I mean, what what is he? He is a linebacker until we see what he does in the first couple of games. But yeah, he's a linebacker. He could do so much. You know, I, I think linebacker. You know, it's like it's just a term. You know, but it's he's very versatile. What's the hardest part of, of doing all those different jobs? Physically thing? Is it a mental thing? Is it sharing time? Um, you know, it's 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 something that only certain players can do and can handle because. You know, with, with Coach Harbaugh and the way he coaches these guys is, you know, they have to understand the game from their position and understand what everyone else around them is doing and, and really become masters of, of who they are. And, uh, you know, and for J Jabril to be able to do that and become a master of, of different positions and understand it, he's, you know, and I knew this when he was in high school, he's, he's just very bright. He gets the game of football better than a lot of other people get. He sees where things fit. And, um, and, and he's able to pick it up very quickly. So it's What's not the really depth like? Ability? It's part of it, of yeah. course, but it's really uh, who he is mentally that allows him to do it. It seems What's, like there's more guys around college who are doing that now. Yeah, with Dory Jackson. Is, do you think kids are more prepared coming out? Of, why, why do you think that is? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's probably. Uh, I think it's 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 more. It's easier to study film now. It's easier to get their hands on things. I think you know, it's really the fans of the game when they're younger. You know, like the kids that really took to the game of football and did different things and played different positions as they're getting older. You know, I think there's a variety of reasons. I think the coaches are doing a great job understanding how to put kids in different positions and, and things of that nature. What's the depth like at your position? I mean, uh, are you pretty happy? At with linebacker? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm very happy with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we brought in some young guys I think depth is a term that you know you can't you, you go in and you, you know you have 85 scholarships you have all you know you have 105 guys in camp and you know I take that as my responsibility so if the depth's not good then it's my responsibility to get it good. Who know? are some of the guys behind, like Ben and, and uh, Mike and Jabril? Yeah, so you got Noah Furbush, mm -hmm. um, who, who will contribute. He'll be behind Jabril. Um, you got Jared Wangler, who will be over there as well. You got um, Josh Uche, who will play that outside spot. Devin Gill, who will kind of do both. Um, obviously, you got Devin Bush, who will be there. You got uh, Mike Robolewski, who had a great spring, um, you know, as a, as a walk on guy. Um, Elise and Bosse, who will be looked at to contribute and play, um, you know. So there's there's a variety of different guys that that'll help at those spots. Did I mention?